Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Spirit Plugin Showcase video here. Today I'll be showing you an amazing plugin called Farming Upgrade. So it's basically a plugin that just enhances your uh, player experience while harvesting crops. So I mean it's kind of really a good plugin if you wanna like use it on survival based servers only. I mean it's really good for SMPs too. So like, uh, I mean you could even add it to factions and stuff but I don't see a use for it in factions. Because that's mostly just PvP. So yeah, let's get into the video now. Alright, so I'm gonna get started with the main stuff. So it's basically like, uh, I mean you can like, configure the tools for the harvesting and stuff. So like, I mean the base, the default vanilla way of harvesting is like, really boring. So like, you just go break a crop here so it's going to only break the single crop which is, which is really not fun to play with uh, so what this plugin basically does is so like uh, let me just uh, bone meals this crop here oops sorry about that so yeah uh, what it does is as you can see the bone meal is actually flying out i'm not sure if that's done vanilla because i haven't really played vanilla that much so the best part is like uh, it just does that so it just throws out the bone meal so like not everything is wasted so like it just uses enough bone meal and then it returns back the uh, excessive bone meal so right now as you can see i have a diamond hoe here so i have actually specially configured it in the config so i'll be doing with doing it with the iron hoe so just let me just give myself iron hoe so as you can see here's the iron hoe so as soon as i hit it you're going to see that animation. Do you see that? That hitting animation. And the best part is it that it actually replants the seeds. So like, uh, I mean, you can just like break it and then in the range and the radius, which you can configure in the config.yml, it actually gets replanted, which is really great. And another best part is like, so like, suppose there are no seeds in this area. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really sure which config part is responsible for this, but uh, if you, you put this in offhand, and then you just hold the seed and then you try to plant it like in a radius it's gonna get planted it's really great so this video won't actually be a brief showcase it's just gonna be the little overview of the plugin so like you can just view the rest of it by yourself like when you're editing the config and such so yeah let's get back to the video here uh, so this is actually awesome uh, feature here so i told you that it actually uh, harvests in a radius so like, i did show you that with the iron hoe so it actually only harvest mature grown crops so like for example this is not mature as you can see there's still seeds here so if i just happen to grow uh, some here so let's wait for them they're not exactly grown completely here so if you just uh, as you can see there i tried to break it but only the matured crops broke so that's pretty much that that's actually really great because uh, it won't break crops which won't give you nothing so you're basically just uh, harvesting crops that give you uh, like the crops in return like you know like it gives wheat and you can actually even configure it for other stuff uh, so like you know carrot potatoes watermelons etc etc so yeah this, this is what i was talking about the plant default thing so like we just uh, if you're breaking if you're harvesting wheat uh, it replants wheat seeds if you're harvesting potatoes it uh, plants potatoes and that's pretty much that for the rest of them you could of course uh, add more if you wish because as you know there's more than five crops uh, in minecraft so you can just add some more by yourself and here are some tools which you can actually configure by yourself so here are some examples you can edit here are some info you can read yourself there's not much to uh, explain here but i'll be showing you down here so as you can see here uh, these are like the tools config for each type of tool here so i mean i didn't show it diamond because it had a special config here so like i actually disabled replant for diamond hoe because i just wanted to show an example so uh, it's basically like uh, it just doesn't replant the seeds when you're using diamond hoe but it does replant for the rest of them because i, mean, I didn't specify it and i did forget to mention like if you have this enable this config default uh, ignore this hashtag so like if you did have this uh, saved here so like collect default so it basically just uh, goes to your inventory instead of dropping it 
so that's basically like it helps from stealing the i mean like if someone tries to steal it from you they can't do it because going to your inventory directly and that's a really great feature there uh, it's best to keep it enabled actually by default it's not enabled so yeah just make sure to do that and here are some uh, values actually so just uh, if you add this damage you, think you can increase the value of damage taken when harvesting crops and uh, just make sure that uh, i mean like if it has unbreakable it doesn't take damage and this is the one i showed you the part where you just put the tool in, in your off hand and then you plant uh, the seeds and then it just plants the whole radius you can just disable it here by just typing false uh, for example you just take this copy and if i take it down to wooden hole so if i just put it down and then okay no need for that i think it's just here plant So you can just crop out this here. So just false. So yeah, now uh, if you have a if you have a wooden hoe in your offhand, it won't work because you have actually just disabled it here by plant. And here's the one which you collect. So like uh, it's basically like that. You can just configure it per tool here, rather than just keeping it uh, enabled for all the tools there, as above I showed you. And this is actually really great. So like it just filters, add lore to your tools. So like if if your tool has this lore, uh, you can add more features here. So that's really great. And you can actually even add permissions and uh, you just add some ranked benefits. Like you could add VIP and then you could say something like get VIP and uh, get radius of five plus. And then you can just add it here, here as five. And the rest of them work the same way as I explained. And there's even actually a config for swords here and if you don't want them you can just remove them from here and nothing will be affected. And this is actually uh, quite useful here so like uh, create a farmland it just turns back to dirt right because like there's no water near it. But with this plugin you can just disable that and it stays the farmland way the whole time until you trample on it as you have configured it here. You can edit some of these values I won't be saying much about them. And here's the bone meal uh, radius which I told you about. As you saw when I was using bone meal, the other crops beside the crop was also being affected. This is a really useful tool. You can add more stuff here and uh, I actually edited this but it's supposed to be more longer this part. You can just uh, change it back to this if you wish to. And here are some plants growth if you wish to change. Uh, as I told you there are more than just how many crops? 6 crops. So I mean you can just add the rest of them here if you wish to. I mean I'm not sure if there are more crops that are affected before me but you can take a look. And here's a trample thing. So like uh, if there is a crop trying to grow. Like if there's a seed on the farmland and try to walk on it. Breaks. It comes dirt in the vanilla I'm seeing. So like we just disable that. And then I actually enabled. Um, wait I'm not sure if those enabled or disable it first but i guess i did enable it now and uh, so keeping this true it basically like turns the block into dirt if there is no seed on the farm block and yeah that's pretty much that and you can even add the crops here that you wish to be trampled like so like they can be trampled that's what i mean if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more similar content and comment on whatever you wish to comment and yeah that's pretty much that See you next time.